Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So when we are fighting for every hundredth or tenth of a second we could get out of our no prep cars, one of the most important things that you want to look at is your setup. We're talking about tow, camber, caster, those kind of things. Make sure your car is tracking straight and it's not doing some wonky things at the beginning or the end of the run. In my last video, you could see, and I told you about the crashes that I had on how I had just a slight fade to the left at the end of my run, and I just couldn't make it past the finish line before I hit those ramps and had some awesome crashes. After further inspection with some of these setup tools I have behind me, I could see that my camber and my toe angles were not quite 100%. There was a couple degrees of variation between front, back, side to side, all that kind of stuff. We'll show you over here on the bench what exactly I'm talking about. If you're new here, we do all kinds of no prep drag videos. We do RC, FPV, all that kind of fun stuff. So if you're interested in anything else that I have to say, breakout chassis build coming up, T can speed controller tuning, radio tuning, all that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a like. So honestly, this whole video was going to be about a really nice setup station that I just got. But the thing is, is it just does not work for this size car. Really hard to find those. And quite honestly, I don't think you need them. One thing you definitely need though, is a good hard and flat surface. Some people use like granite countertops, things like that, that are completely level and hard. I'm using a Huddy setup board here. You can get these at a lot of different hobby shops. They're kind of hard to find right now, like a lot of things in RC, but they are out there. This is a big size, uh, 1A scale. I think it ran around 60 bucks. So to get my measurements correct, we're gonna be using a couple things. The first thing is we're gonna be using a low C camber bar here that you can get pretty much at any hobby shop, online, or anything else. And then to work on our toe, we're gonna to be using a big carpenter square, and we're gonna be using this toe gauge setup created by Tim over at Barth Racing Concepts. You can find this on his Etsy store. I will put a link to it and we'll show you how this all bolts up and helps you get your toe. So I'm just running standard arms and pieces on the DR10. So there's not a whole lot of adjustment I can actually do to like rear toe and other things without purchasing those adjustable type of arms and, and the like. I have some of that stuff that's on the breakout chassis and I know that they actually sell uh, toe ad adjustment arms and all that kind of stuff for the rears. Don't have those, don't know if I'll be going with that. I run the standard amount, which I think is around two degrees toe in, which seems to work really well for me. Um, always has, and you know, even tire wear and everything, as long as my camber is set correctly. So we're gonna do that right now. Uh, we're also gonna do the toe, as I said before, these numbers are all kind of arbitrary. Some people say to set things up zero all the way around. Some people say you want to set them up like a buggy, for example, which would be somewhere around uh, 0.5 to like two. I've even seen people go to the negative side. It all depends on what kind of shock mounting options you have, how much droop you have set into your system and everything like that. But for a good starting place, Go ahead and set your cambers at zero on all four tires and that way you won't have anything to worry about and then you can come back and make some adjustments if things just aren't running and working well for you. So no matter what camber angle you want, all you got to do is just set your gauge to it right there and you're going to take it and put it up against your tires. You're going to want to spin your tire a little bit, make sure that the bottom and top of the tire are both hitting the gauge at the same point. Real simple, easy to do. Go around and do it on all four tires. Again, to whatever number you think is good, I'm going to go with zero on all of mine just because that is a good starting point. I had success with in the past. So now that we've got our camber set on all four corners by turning the turnbuckles to match this right here, we're gonna go ahead and set up the Barth Racing Concepts tow gauge. And if you look at in the back here, you've got uh, right and left printed on those. So all we're gonna do is just slide this on the tire. It might be a little tight off of your print. So you might wanna go ahead and ream that out a little bit. I know I had to slightly, and we're gonna put our wheel nuts on to make sure everything is nice and secure. We're not gonna use a lot of force. So here's the setup here. 
you can see from the overhead shot, we're gonna go ahead and turn the car on. We got the remote on. We've got all of our trims and stuff set to zero. And what we're gonna do is we'll take a look at this one here real quick. And I'll go ahead and reposition another camera here to try to get a little bit of a better view. It's just a genius design here. If you look right here really close, I've got everything squared with the, the carpenter square, and I've got the wheel uh, tools up all the way against that and the one degree. And if you look really closely right there, there's just a slight little gap that we need to close by changing the steering turnbuckle. I like to run one degree toe out in the front uh, just because it kind of helps things when you're turning a little bit or going straight to that matter. See, if you're running a little bit of toe out and you're starting to turn this way, you still got this tire over here that's kind of help pulling you straight. Same thing if you turn this way, this tire over here is help pulling you a little straight. If you're running toe in, and you start to turn then you can see that you're going to be sliding and dragging and that's not going to be any good if you're at zero and you start turning well then you're just again you're going off track so it's nice having just a little bit of drag resistance on the opposite tire that you're trying to correct so really you can see how minute this is if i put it into three i really was running at about three degrees toe out which is a lot so we're gonna throw that one back in there and we're gonna bring that back in and close up that gap a little bit with our turnbuckle wrench. Now you can see that gap is completely gone. We are at one degree and good to go, completely square. And now we're going to do the other side. All right, and that side was bang on. So we're in good shape now. Go ahead and just turn everything off and we're ready to put the car back together and go run it. So again, just a nifty kit that Tim has put together to help dial in that toe. Of course, we're not doing anything on the rear, but if you had adjustable arms, you could do it. He's gonna give you rear adjustment tires as well. So there's your fronts, left, right, zero through three degrees. And then of course, don't forget about that low C bar. I think RPM makes these stuff too. RPM also makes a toe adjustment, but the thing is really cheaply made and wonky. Uh, this is uh, to me a lot more of a precision type of device to do that uh, next to using like a setup station. But again, the setup stations just aren't gonna work for our applications. Your toe bars and stuff like that just aren't big enough. They're just not gonna fit. I'm sure that we'll see something in the future when it comes to this type of stuff for no prep drag. You know, we've got the scales and things like that. So I'm pretty sure that uh, this is one area of development that people are not going to let go. Uh, but uh, definitely I'll put a link again to Tim's Etsy store down below. I think it's around 30 bucks and, uh, you know, maybe send him a message or something on his Facebook page or whatever. And maybe he'll uh, hook you up with a discount or a coupon code or something like that. So that is it guys. That is going to do it for this video. Now we're going to get ready and go out and run. So come back and we will show you how this baby does. Hopefully we can get even faster than that 235. So we will talk to you later. Peace.